What's going on everybody? GamerSci here. Recently I came into a couple of ex-Office PCs which I managed to pick up for a really dirt cheap price. Basically the Office was upgrading their PCs and they were letting this uh, old stock go for next and out really. And I thought, what are these good for? Are they, you know, are they only good for running Word and sending the odd email? Or can you actually get a gaming PC out of an old office PC. So let's find out. I've got a budget of £100. Can I make a gaming PC and can I get it to play anything approaching a modern game? Let's have a look. So I started off with this. This is the HP Compaq Elite. 300 small form factor. This is a desktop PC commonly found in offices all over the world. This one was being sold off cheap from the office uh, that was previously owned it. Um, I actually only paid £20 for this. And that came without a hard drive but did come with 16 gigs of RAM inside. Opening it up you will see it's fairly limited for space. It does come with a third gen i5 processor underneath that heatsink there. It also came with DVD read write. I said it did not come with a hard drive which I had to install. The cost of the hard drive was £8 from CDX for a 500 gigabyte hard drive. So I've got 16 gigs worth of RAM in here. And then for the graphics card, because of the size of this case, it was limited in what I could use. In the end, I've opted for a 1030, a GT 1030 by NVIDIA. There, you can see this is the gigabyte model, and they also do a passive cooling one as well. However, with the limited space and air circulation in there, I figured I would go for the active cooling. So, had to be the low profile to fit the small form factor case, but that just slotted straight in there. That was at a cost of £60 from Amazon. So £20 for the machine, £60 for the card and £8 for the hard drive. Comes to a total so far of £88. I also had to pay a few pounds for a Wi-Fi adapter, Wi-Fi USB dongle off eBay. So we've got a total of just over £90. So not including things like mice, keyboards, things like that. I'm just talking about the PC itself here. So the question is, what can a sub £100 gaming PC manage? Let's try a few games and find out. So, first game I thought I'd try is Super Street Fighter 4. It's one of my favourite fighting games. I'm a bit of a fighting game fan. The great thing about Street Fighter 4 as well is it has this really good um, benchmarking on it to tell you a bit more about it. Street Fighter 4 doesn't tend to need a great deal of performance to run well. So let's try start off with something that this should easily manage and as you can see it does easily manage. It scores a nice uh, frame rate there. So let's just jump straight into a game and see how it runs. Excuse my poor playing of Street Fighter 4 here. I don't usually use an Xbox controller when it comes to fighting games. Yeah, everything's going great. What about you? How the South America, England coast. We've got two supreme fighters lined up. This is going to be one hell of a show. 
I'm ready for you. Bring it on. It's super dynamic cooking time! The battle has begun. Fight! Show you can... I should also mention here that due to the limitations of my capture card, it will only capture at 30 frames a second. So that's why I've shown you the uh, benchmark at the beginning there showing over 200 frames a second that this is capable of. Challenge me after some practice. Perfect! Pick up the pace! Fight! Ah! <laughs> So on to the next game which is Transformers Fall of Cybertron. I absolutely love this game. I've played it on many, many systems. And this is a game where the PC version was streets ahead of the original console versions. So much so that they did do a later remastered version on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Um, this straight away runs on its highest settings. A great game. Uh, loads of fun. If you haven't played it, I recommend it. The best Transformers game they've ever made. Uh, but as you can see, the this uh, cheap old PC runs it no problem. It's targeting the Ark. Oh, the bridge is out! Keep going, Jetfire. I'll find another way. The Septicon Warp Cannon! Over here! Watch him. I found a route through the Iacon ruins. I'm heading for the auxiliary entrance. Roger that, Prime. And finally, something a little bit more up to date and a little bit more taxing. This is the 2016 version of Doom. Now the PC is running it here at 1080p, but on medium settings across most of the board. The frame rates I've got running on screen there so you can take a look. It manages to run it at between 30 and 60. Most times it never really drops below 30, making it very playable for an absolutely fantastic game on a very cheap PC. So there you have it, in conclusion, my sub £100 PC performed surprisingly well. Uh, it did play all the different games I threw at it. Obviously it's not going to play things like Doom on the highest of settings, but it seemed to manage around about mid settings most of the time. A game like Doom not exactly being the most basic of games, I think that's quite impressive. A lot of that could be down to Bethesda and their optimization of games. 
which they do seem to do a very good job on. The point being though is that if you can pick up a cheap PC then you know there's stuff you can do with it. You can create a decent gaming machine out of it. Especially if you're looking at some of the lower end games. If you only wanted to play something like Overwatch or you know Minecraft things like that then I'm sure this PC would manage absolutely fine. I guess I did get a little bit lucky buying these uh, PCs for £20 each but the bargains are out there. Uh, officers just want rid of these things. They, they don't, don't care. They don't upgrade them themselves. Definitely good fun to do. Good fun to see what you can get out of a machine. By far and away the most expensive part was the graphics card which I had just bought brand new. I didn't really hunt around too much for a bargain on that. But my 93 or whatever it was pound PC seems to be working well. Try some more games on it, see how far I get. Let me know if you enjoyed this, let me know if you think I could do any more. Do you reckon I can do one for under £50? Is it possible? That might be my next attempt. Anyway, this has been Gamer Sai. Keep it hard.